Happy Hanukkah to everybody. <clears throat> this week's Parsha is Parshat Miketz. It's also Hanukkah, which means we have a yeshiva break. And I have no videographer this week, so I'm taking the selfie style. It's also a little bit cold outside, so I'll talk pretty quickly. Um, anyway, this week's Parsha is Parshat Miketz. So we see in this week's Parsha, when Yosef gets called up from the pit, called up from prison, um, Paro calls him up, he has a stream, he needs interpreted. So he calls him up, what's the first thing that Yosef does when he comes out of the prison? He shaves, cuts his hair, and he gets and he washes. It sounds a little familiar if you watched last week's video. In this week's video, you'll uh, notice something different. Um, anyway, um, we see that he does this. And Rashi says, why does Yosef do this? Out of respect for Paro. Out of respect for Pharaoh, right? He, he's cutting his hair, he's looking nice, he's making himself look nice. Okay, it's a very nice message. But if we look on the deeper level, what do we see? Yosef has been in prison for two years, right? Two years after he had the altercation, the, the, the episode with the, the two ministers that were put in prison, right? So what, what can we see from this? That Yosef was probably malnourished, he's probably a little skinny guy, he was, he's been in prison probably in beat up shape. But he had that connection with Hashem, he stayed, he, he had faith the entire time. Um, so really what could we take away from this? Is that Yosef, the scrawny guy probably, um, he took the effort to look himself, make himself look nice in front of Paro. So Paro's probably looking at him like, wow, this is unbelievable. So connecting this to Hanukkah, we see from Yosef that really greatness isn't achieved by physical by physicality. It's really the effort, right? Paru wasn't was probably like, oh, everyone comes to me with a haircut and shaved. He probably doesn't even know what it looks like to have long hair or a beard, right? <clears throat> really, what he saw was was the effort taken by Yosef to to achieve this to to take care of himself even after he was in such a terrible situation for two years. So how can we connect this to Hanukkah? The Greeks wanted to take away three things from us, the Jewish people. Um, they want to take away Brit Milah, Rosh Chodesh, and Shabbos. So what can we see from this? How can we connect these two things together? Just like Yosef, even though he was in prison for two years, he came out at the end of the day, a big guy. He came out he was the viceroy of Egypt. He had so much power, it was unbelievable. He could, he did anything. He, he was able to control all of Egypt. What can we see from this? Also the moon, Rosh Chodesh. It gets so small at times during the month, just like Yosef got so small down in prison. And then eventually it comes out nice and plump, nice and large, where you have these glorious meals, right? You can all picture in your head like a king being fed grapes. Right? That's what Yosef comes out as. And then Brit Milah, right? What, what do we see here? The same thing, when Yosef cut his hair, right? And took care, of, took care of himself. We see here, it's also not about the physical, right? We're doing Brit Milah to commemorate our covenant, covenant with God, right? It's showing that the physicality doesn't really matter. It's the effort that you put in, right? It's all about the effort as well. So once you put in this effort, then you could really take a break from the physical, right? You have to, you have to take your physical being to achieve the next level, right? You're, you're cutting your hair, you're doing a Brit Milah, you're looking at the moon, you're, you're realizing these things, right? But really, once you realize these things, you take a break from the physicality, then that's Shabbos. That's, why, that's what the Greeks were trying to do when they, were, when they were trying to take away these three things from the Jewish people. So in Shabbos, you take a break from the physical and enjoy all the pleasure that Hashem has given to us here on earth. So I wish everyone a happy Hanukkah again and a good Shabbos and I'll talk to you all next week.